Hello and welcome back to our Revit Architecture 2009 um, CAD clips on our Santa Barbara house kit. Um, in this lesson it's a great uh, generic lesson on where we might want to take any sort of family uh, in Revit uh, architecture structure or MEP very generic lesson here and we want the ability to be able to turn on and off certain components of the family. So in this case we've got a family, it's got a window and it's got a header and a sill and some um, some sash and frame information in there, some objects. And what we want to be able to do in this example is to be able to click on this family and go up to the properties and turn on or off certain parts of the geometry. And this can be again applied to any family. You don't have to be the person who made the family. And quite often it can be a family that's very complex that you downloaded or got from somewhere and you say you know I really like this but I'd like the option to be able to turn on or off different parts of the family could be a light could be a door could be a window could be anything and this is how you do it and I'm gonna do this fairly quickly to try to keep the file size down and then if I go too quick then you can probably uh, watch or rewind the video and watch it again so this is what we do we click on the family after it's been placed in our project or we open up the family any way we want it doesn't matter I'm gonna say edit this family do I want to open up my double hung window yes I do so inside that family what I'm going to do is start by making two parameters that are gonna be yes no parameters family types this is how we make our parameters I'm gonna say add a parameter and it's gonna be called header visibility Okay, and it's going to be grouped under graphics. Okay, it's going to be instance. I want to be able to change individual windows. And the key here is the header visibility is going to use a yes no parameter. You probably never use this one and wonder what it does. This is how it works. So, header visibility, do you want a yes or no? Good, hit OK. I'm going to make, and that's grouped right there. Now I'm going to make another one for the sill. Parameters, add sill visibility. And this is a really great lesson because you don't have to be the originator of the family. It could be some family you got from somewhere else. Instance, group it under graphics, and it is also a yes-no parameter. Hit OK, and the, by default, I'm turning them on. OK, I hit Apply and OK. Now, this is where the magic happens. I'm going to pick on the piece of geometry that I want, which is that header object. I'm going to go to the properties of that header, and I'm going to say, Visible, yes, this has always been available, but watch, I can go way over here and pick the little parameter button and say the visible is the header visibility, which is a yes, no. Hit OK, and I'm done. Watch, click out, grab the little sill piece, okay, properties, the visibility way over to the right, click on here is going to be controlled by the sill visibility parameter which is a yes no parameter hit OK hit OK and I'm done now if I want while I'm in here notice that they're kind of green I didn't make this family um, family types if I want I can by default turn them off and hit apply and watch what happens they go kinda of gray they get grayed out okay and it also will you'll get a different effect if you're thin or thin uh, thick lines are by default I do want them turned on when I first insert the family so I am gonna go back here and say yes by default I want them turned on hit OK I'm gonna do a save or I could do a save as if I want to make a new family type or a new family I'm just gonna do save and now I'm gonna load it into my project Santa Barbara house kit project good bring it in it's gonna say do you want to redefine it yes I do okay and now the magic uh, has been done and all I have to do now is pick on my new uh, revised window family and guess what I can go into the properties sill visibility no header visibility no hit OK and those pieces of geometry will disappear so that little lesson can then be applied to any family that has solid geometry where you want to have the option to turn the visibility of that geometry on or off.